Hello everyone, and today we're gonna play Dwarf Fortress. We're gonna start a new world together, and we'll see how long it takes us to die. Let's have fun. Uh, right, let's have like a brand new world, so we're at the start of the history. The idea is uh, like the statues and stuff would be about our are part of the world, not like stuff that happened 200 years ago if we go for 500 years. Um, number of beasts. Yeah, sure, let's keep it at medium. Uh, natural savagery, yeah. Um, mineral occurrence. Uh, sure, let's keep it at every world. Let's keep it like that. Uh, great world. Alright, let's see how the world generates. Lakes and minerals. There you go. Hmm. Seems interesting. There's a few lakes, a few rivers. Oh, this is. Okay, still along the lakes and rivers. Lakes and caves. Ah, uh, so in the twelfth years, the human Galka Cuddle Seal of the Confederation of Braining created the position of Chief Treasurer as a matter of course. In twenty-five, the human Boogie Tuft Feral became the lawgiver of the Confederation of Braining. So that seems to be a big. Uh, a big confederation, I guess. In the early spring of 35, the Grey Fiend Samsek... Sure. Of the Doom of Slivers created the position of Keeper of the Seal as a matter of course. Okay. So, alright. In the late autumn of 42, the Bronze Colossus, take clouded of the authority of avalanches, was struck down by a goblin. Oh, well. A Colossus... A bronze colossus got taken down by a goblin. All right. Uh, in the early of forty, early spring of F forty-eight, uh, the human necromancer Raji, baby scour, oh boy, of mellow realm created the position of high butler. Okay. Well, they have a high butler who's a necromancer called baby scour. <laughs> sure. I love this game. Alright, let's start a fortress. Can't wait for the adventure mode to uh, to be available. Apparently it's really fun, it's like playing D&D. Uh, no, let's skip the tutorial, because I've already tried it. Uh, sure. Alright, so where do we want to settle down? Oh, that's a berry biome. Joyous Wild. Uh, nearest site, there's a two days travel north of a hostile. Oh, goblins and humans. Okay, okay. Um, is this is a haunted hill. Let's not go up north, because. Yeah. Cold mean the water freezes all the time. It's not very cool. Um, never tried a warm biome, a mirthful warm biome. Uh, there is some soil, some sand, iron, gold, silver, copper, nickel, zinc, platinum, tin, and lead. Sure. Let's get closer to the humans. Um, where's the humans? Oh, I guess this is goblins. This is humans. I see. The sinister biome. Um, all right, all right. Let's go here. Let's find ourselves a little stream. Deep soil, shallow clay, light aquifer, bunch of mineral, fluxstone layer. Hmm, no idea what that is. Um. 
Alright. I think we could, uh... Come right here. Sure. So, so clearly like my duck up there. Sure. I don't think there's gonna be any mountains, but at least like we could create a little shack that goes down like it's a tiny tiny house from out outside and uh, deep down there is a gigantic mine. I think that would be fun. Uh, confirm. Uh, do we want to prepare? Or just play now? Hmm. Sure, just play now. We'll figure it out. You have arrived. After a journey from the mountain home into the forbidding wilderness beyond, your harsh trek has finally ended. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for the glory of all of Udil Nikot. Okay. There are almost no supplies left, but with stout labor comes sustenance, whether by bolt, plow, or hook. Provide for your dwarves. You, you are expecting a supply of caravan just before the winter end comes here, but it is spring now. Enough time to, do, to delve secure lodging. Here the dingoes get hungry. Oh, oh boy. A new chapter of dwarven history begins here at this place. Borosh Kivish Rake Lancer. Strike the earth. Alright. First of all, let's look what we have around us. Um, alright, alright. Oh, there is it. There is some mountains. Okay. Do we want to build in the mountain here? Or do we want to go for the tiny house thing? I think we'll go for a house. Oh, what's that? River Otter. Okay. At least it's not crocodiles. Alright. First of all, uh, they're gonna be hungry, so let's start a fishing place. Just here. Yeah, don't show this again. So they will be able to fish and also drink water. Since we only have 60 drinks and uh, yeah. Alright. Let's cut some wood. Can I cut? No, I can't uh, do that. And uh, Let's start digging down. Uh, we'll go to level 25, it's a round number. Alright. Oh, we'll probably need a pasture for the, for the pens, for the animals I mean. Build it right here. Let's add everything that needs to feed. Otherwise they will starve. And already fighting. Oh. The otter is fighting with the dog. Whoops. Alright. Well, off to a great start. Stone located. Oh, goody. So, this is water. Off to a great start. So, the trick is you dig around it and then you build walls. Because the water cannot go through walls. So, thank you. Now I need to hurry up and create some walls. Let's pause the game while we do this. Uh, sure. Uh, I want to keep building after this. Thank you very much. Wooden walls, why not? There we go. So that way it won't flood our mine. Right. Let's go down. Oh no, the 
that's regular mining. That's why, was it working? There you go. They're probably gonna tell us it's still wet. Oh no, it's not. Wow, okay. It was a very light aquifer. I see. Okay. stockpile so we can put everything in mm. oh I know I don't want people stealing our stuff so let's create uh, um. sure let's wait for them to dig down to level 25 and then we'll create a bigger room there the cat is helping there you go level 25 let's Start building a room. Is it four by? There you go. Let's make it round. That's going to be like the main entrance to our mine. There we go. To the mountain home, sorry. Gypsum and Sard. Oh, and that's yeah, Sard cluster. I see. That's what they were telling us. Mm, let's check what they're doing. Yeah, never mind. Uh, so this is a miner. Let's have a second miner. Uh, the Mason will also be a miner, so it's going to go faster. Um. Woodcutter, we have this woodcutter, that's fine. Hunter, we don't have any just yet. Uh, planters. Let's set this one as a planter and also a plant gatherer. Because uh, I will tell him to grab some plants for when we have our distillery. So we can start making, uh, making drinks for the dwarves. stockpile I think. Uh, let's go down to level 25. We'll start the little stockpile here for now. We'll move it later but for now we're gonna put it there so they can start transferring everything inside and then we'll make a dedicated room for that. Oh already some mussels. I think after this, we'll build a tavern. Let's go off here. Let's make ourselves uh, four by something room. Let's make it round as well. Well, not round, just beveled. And here, there's going to be Fisherman. The, oh, I see. I see. No, wait. Let's make it so we can set all three one next to another. So we have like the the place where they prepare the fish, the place that creates the food, and then the place that brews the alcohol for the alcoholic dwarves. this and then we'll have like the tables and stuff here they're gonna dance there that's where all the bards will be we can make a little uh... oh I was paused <laughs> let's make a food area so like all the the raw food and prepared food will be there so it won't be like stockpiled in the in the tavern Are they not doing anything? I think we'll, uh, for now, everyone does this. 
Can I not do that? Alright, well. Help out, please. There you go, it's gonna go a bit faster. Aha! That's more like it. So far, everyone's meh, happy-ish. Please, they're not angry. Let's try to keep it that way. Oh, I found lignite, so we'll be able to make coke. Not to be confused with cocaine, just coke. It's a fuel for the for metalworking and stuff. Cat is helping out, probably checking out the the raw shad that we have here. We've struck red tourmaline. Tourmaline? Ooh, that's a emetite wall. That's made uh, you make iron from that. Gypsum again. Oh wow, there's a, there's a lot. We might be digging this whole area up and just create like uh, artificial walls. Because uh, that's valuable and that would be very valuable as well to make iron. Alright, we have enough space here so let's uh, create the fishery first. Uh, sure, let's make it out of wood. But then someone will be able to start preparing the fish won't go bad as fast. Pretty sure it can go bad, but let's create a new stockpile. Just making it quickly. This is a food stockpile. Yep. And uh, yeah, let's keep it like that. That's a food stockpile. We'll make it bigger later on. Here, I think we'll take out the food so they don't jam pack it with food. We don't want any food in there. Thank you. There you go, they're starting to. Oh, almost forgot. Uh, in the kitchen, please do not uh, do not cook plump helmets because we'll need it for uh, brewing later. And if they cook it, the seeds are bad. And uh, that's not good when you're starting to uh, create a farm you don't have any seeds anymore uh, same for this sure nothing is there so that's good the drinks sure sure that's good uh, yeah let's keep it like that let's paint this one bigger oops thank you except already preparing raw fish let's make ourselves a room for our stockpile the first one uh, it's probably gonna be like very very huge like all of my builds but for now it's gonna come here let's do it like the like the tavern just like a beveled one Then we'll make some specialized stockpiles later on for like the stone in one place, the logs in another place, and stuff like that. Alright, workshop. Uh, let's build the distillery so they can start working on drinks before they run out. And uh, let's build the kitchen. There you go. Sure, I have no idea what that is. Oh wow. Already <laughs> they already filled it up. Wow. That that was fast. Except I might want to make it bigger. 
Also, we'll make some uh, we'll make some barrels so they can like store the food in there, so it's not just laying all over the place. Yeah, let's start with that actually. Um, so let's have a carpenter and a stone worker here. Basic ones. What's that? Fluffy Wimbler remain. Uh huh. <laughs> Are we like in the biome where everything's cute? <laughs> oh no. And we'll be killing all of it for food. That's ah, so Lignite. Alright. Let's uh, workshop. Carpenter. Uh, sure, let's make it out of persimmon. Oh, brown jasper, nice. All right, let's make some uh, barrels. Uh, sure, let's like make as much barrels as we can. Uh, that's gonna be our everything but food stockpile. No food. And uh, yeah, no corpses either, because we don't want uh, rotting and miasma. Uh, for the refuse, I guess we'll... Mm. Now let's keep the shells here. Shells and bones, yeah. The rest will create another stockpile somewhere just for that. Out of the way. And this stockpile, let's uh, remove stockpile. There you go. So now they'll transfer stuff around. That's a cute little start. Uh, let's become an expedition leader. What? I thought we already had one. Okay. So I guess it's the same one. Uh. Oh, they're getting happier. Nice. stockpile a bit bigger. There you go. Finish just in time. Very nice. And they should take the rocks out of there soon. Alright, and now with barrels, let's uh, let's make some drinks. We have 50, but uh, knowing them, it's gonna run out pretty soon. see what they're doing up there and something killed the dragonfly nice well we got a big tree here hmm there's not a lot of uh... <laughs> okay now here there's a bit more trees uh, blood from what? Spattering of where? Ah, uh, that, that was a river otter. So let's try not to use too much wood for now. Like, well, we need the barrels, so like, let's use the the wood for the barrels. Uh, let's make some bins as well, and then we'll turn to stone for uh, most of the rest. Uh, bins, because the bins they they will store um, like. The, 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 the jams that we have and uh, some other stuff in there. They're finished goods mostly. So it doesn't take as much space in the stockpile. There you go. But we have uh, the space for. No, that was uh, not this one. The carpenter is the stone worker. There you go. We got there. Selects wood, the, he says, after saying, let's. Uh, Let's try not to use all the wood. <laughs> alright, alright. Got 
got some tread. That's pigtail tread. All right. Uh, celery seeds. Sure. Still working hard on that. Once we have the stone worker, we will create some tables and chairs so people can sit down at the tavern. Let's give them a few minutes. We have haulers. Probably. Yeah, everyone does it. Perfect. Um, sure. Ah, oh, the music's so relaxing. Then down here, it's just deep cavern sounds. <laughs> A butcher. This, mm. No, let's let's create the stockpile for dead stuff so it doesn't start rotting. Stockpile, a new one. Let's make it here for now. Uh, corpses and. And the refuse, we want all the corpse. And uh, body parts? Maybe? Yeah, body parts. Let's put it there. It's sometimes like they, they have like just the head or an arm or something like that, and then it starts rutting in the food pile, which is not good. <laughs> uh, the rest side. Alright, then back. The dogs were acting up. Okay, so we have the stockpile for the dead stuff that we don't want. Let's uh, let's go down and make sure that uh, they don't try to put it here. So in food, um, I guess in meat. Well, that's just sure. Okay. Yeah, let's let's build ourselves a butcher. So we'll put it right here, just off the side. What's happening here? Brew drinks from plant. Doesn't have any plants left. That's not good. Come a carpenter. All right. And no more fish, which is probably false. Well. There's no in the stockpile, but uh, there's a fisherman dwarf upstairs. Oh, there you go. We found some new ones. <laughs> Did it take long? 